，哎呀，哎呀，哎呀，哎呀，哎呀，哎呀，哦 ！What's up, everyone? My name is BQ, and I am wearing headphones. That's the end of the video. Goodbye. Now let's get into the actual video. So today I'm going to be showing you how to edit, or at least how I edit in shortcuts. That's shortcut, not shortcut. Shortcut. Uh, Shotcut is a free video editor that I have found, which I have heard surprisingly little about on the internet. I think the only videos about it, on YouTube at least, are from Shotcut itself. I have seen very little um, how-to videos on YouTube, if any at all. So I am going to be showing you how I edit on Shotcut. Um, it's not going to be perfect. I basically only use two things. Yeah, I'll get into that just now. So let's begin. So first, what you're going to have to do is drag. Um, let me just take these off for now. So first, what you're going to do is you're going to need to import your files. Now, usually, um, when it opens, you'll see this, which is the encode menu. But you're going to want to change it to the playlist menu here at the bottom. Uh, there, you can see that it says playlist right there. You're going to click on that. Then you're going to uh, copy the or click and drag the file that you want to edit over there. But what it's going to do is not put it there for some reason, but put it or at least stop playing it. So once you do that, you're going to stop playing it. You just want to stop that, click there, and drag back. So then now you have it, you have your file in your playlist. And from there, you can drag it into your timeline. Now, for some reason, and I don't know why, it decides to put the playhead at the very end of the timeline, which means you have to scroll all the way back to the front. Oh, for some reason, that didn't put it there. You have to put it all the way back to the front of the timeline. Oh, fuck. And there we go. So now you're at the beginning of the timeline, and you can start editing. Now, I use, I don't know, I'm not that efficient, and I, I do have some experience with Premiere. Uh, I have used it before, but I cannot afford it at this point. That is why I have searched for a free, uh, free video editor. But this does have some similarities to it. Uh, not many, but some. So first, what you're going to want to do is learn how to use the split at playhead. Button. Or if you want to use your keyboard, just use S, yeah, the S key. So what you're going to want to do is, so you got your video here, scroll to where you want to cut it. So say uh, there, cut it, scroll to where you want. To, say this is just a blank, blank pace, blank, blank, blank space that you want to get out. Then right click, remove, and it automatically closes the gap. So now you have one seamless uh, cut. Um, so that's basic, 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 basic editing. Uh, you can't get much more basic than cutting and splicing. So now what if you want to do something? Uh, so you've gone through your whole video, you've cut it, and you've edited it. What if you want to add some effects? Well, to do that, and it is a little bit uh, tricky on this program. You're going to want to cut the piece of uh, the video, the part of the video that you want to add an effect to. So you've got that piece of the video separate. You go to filters, add filter. So now let's say you want to add text. So you just scroll down to text. Now you have well, automatically comes up with time code for some reason. I don't know why. So let's say you want to just type in hello world. Okay. So that is simple text. Now you want to change position, which this as well is a little bit tedious. So you're going to put in there, say, 50. And this, you're going to have to play around with this because it is painful. And you're just going to put, let's say, 100. Hey, come on. 100. What the 
fuck? Okay, I've never I I've never really played around with positioning of text, so what the fuck? Okay, so you are coming with me on this journey. Um Oh. I did not realize you could do that. Okay, so I'm learning things about shortcut I didn't even know were there. Because I've tried to move things around before and this never came up. But apparently, uh, you just add in a number to the position and then you can move it around. And you can resize it and move it around to any way you want. Now, this isn't as efficient as something like Adobe's, um, whatever they call it, their effects or whatever, but it does work and you can add some simple text and then if you really want to, let's just um, create another filter, you can add, where is it? You can do color grading, fade in, fade, wait, fade in, fade out. Uh, there was, where is it? Yeah, you can do chroma key as well, which I haven't really played around with in, uh, so let's do that, and then, okay, whatever. I haven't played around with chroma key, but it is there if you need to use it. I think there is a video online of how to use it, um, but whatever. I am just showing you the basics of how I edit it, how I edit videos in this. I do not know everything about shortcuts, as you can see with the text. I did not even know that you could move it around, which, yeah, this is kind of a shit video, but whatever. So, um, now that you've edited your video, whatever, you've edited your video, and now you need to um, export it. So, what you're going to do is go to encode which is over here, and I use this profile, they, or what do they call it, these um, things, I use the H.264 baseline profile, which is basically perfect for YouTube, because it's an MP4 and it is H.264, so you, it basically puts in all the information over here, and then codec and all that, and then you just click in code file, and so you click encode file, put where you want it to go, and it encodes it. It is actually a fairly quick encode because it's using H.264 and um, MP4, so it's not. It doesn't take forever. Um, depend, obviously, depending on how long the video is, but it just pops up over here saying that it's encoding, and then when it's done, you have your video. Now I know this is a really simple video. Um, I didn't even know some of the stuff that I just learned in this video, but yes, so this is just how I edit. Obviously, I don't do anything crazy like animation or green screen. Even though I could, I have done some green screen stuff before uh, on in Premiere. I haven't learned how to do it in this, even though it doesn't seem that hard. So yes, that is my video on... This is kind of a stupid video, but whatever. Uh, I'm not going to cut it out because, hey, live and learn. So, yes, that is how you edit or how I edit in shortcuts. Oh, yeah, I forgot. God damn it. God damn it, I keep on forgetting stuff. Um, if you want to add other video tracks, over here you right click, add video track, right click, add audio track. You can bring this up. So now you have um, another video track, so you can click and drag that there. And then obviously, like anything else, it'll cut it. Okay. So as you can see, the green screen effect worked because it is showing over that. Um, so yes, that is how you add different video layers. You right click here. And you go add video track, and then if you want to delete it, you right click and remove track. So that is how you add tracks, which I completely forgot about. As you can tell, I do these how to videos a lot, and I am brilliant at it. Uh, but this is my first how to on shortcuts. I might do more ex um, explaining some of the more um, 
some of the more advanced features like um, the green screen or chroma key. There we go, chroma key. Or some of the other stuff like um, color grading, which I know nothing about, but hey, you can learn. So that's basically it for shortcuts, for this video on shortcuts. Uh, hopefully I haven't forgotten anything else. That would be really embarrassing, otherwise I'm going to have to cut back into this video. And now, so if you're watching this now, you haven't seen, or I haven't missed anything, but anyway. Um, so that's it for this video, and goodbye.